everybody, it's Joy with JoysLife.com and today we're going to use the Cricut Art Philosophy cartridge and we're going to make a cute little card and it's going to be super simple. I've got the booklet right here and we are on page 41 right there and we're going to make this card. So um, we're also going to use this piece right here just to go on top of it. This is going to be so simple. So I'm going to go ahead and get this piece cut out. I've cut this out already in a multitude of colors and I'll show you how that looks in just a minute, but let's go ahead and cut this out. Today I'm using the Cricut Expression 2, and what we have to do is go find the card button here, because we're going to use the card. Okay, so let's do that. It's very simple. Let me zoom in. Okay, the card button is right there, and then the one we want to click is right there. Awesome! Doing great. All right, now I just want to go to the main map, so I'm going to click that, and it'll show up right there. Awesome. Very good. Now the other thing I want to do is click, let's see, let's go into that. Do you see this funny little thing? That makes a, as many things as you have here on your mat multiply to fill the mat. I want to do that. I think it's only going to make two, but that's all right. Okay, only two can fit. Um, that's very useful because if you want to cut out a lot of things, just, just so you need a ton, uh, maybe, what it, well, whatever it might be, the flower that we're about to do or anything, that'll go ahead and multiply them for you. So that makes it simple. All right, let's go back, and we're going to cut. I've just got some white paper put in my Cricut right now because I'm doing the base, and I want it to cut in white. All right, there we go. All done. Now all we need to do is take the paper out. I'll click that button right there, and it'll shoot it right out. All right, and I've got another sheet of paper right here. I'm going to cut some more of these bases, but let's take a look and see how this one turned out. I'll zoom out a bit. Well, that's in. Out. There we go. Okay, let's see how that looks. See? Cute. That's already a really cute card base. It's already scored in the middle. So, well, there's actually a cut line. It's not really a score line. And uh, you just bend it. So, easy. Now I've got two. So I want to make one more. Let me, well actually two more bases. So I'll put that in and go ahead and cut those out. Okay, I've already cut out the bases for the card. And earlier I cut out some of these decorative layers. When you're cutting this one out, all you have to do is press the decorative layer, layer, and then just press the button. You don't have to hit shift. Shift is for all the ones on the right hand side of the little groupings. Okay, well, I cut it out at four inches, and the card cut out at four inches. Let me show you what I've got. I kind of went crazy. I've cut out so many of these things. I couldn't decide what colors I liked, so I just kept cutting. I mean, it was insane. There's a purple. Anyway, I cut and cut and cut. I even used, oh, I forgot. I wanted to tell you. I cut this circle piece, too, and that's also cut at four inches. This one's just in a gray color. I thought it would look better than it turned out to look, but here's what I ended up with. Okay, I've got the gray background like I just showed you. And then look what I did. I thought this was kind of neat. This is just these two flowers cut out at four inches. And instead of having them, they're identical. Instead of having them like that, I just turned the little thing and it lined up perfectly, but, oh wait, <laughs> that's not it. Hold on, I'm turning it one more. Okay, like that. Anyway, you just turn it, and it gives that neat um, kind of offset appearance where you can see the color on the other item that you've got there. So it's like that. So either however you like it. But I thought that was kind of neat. And then it kind of looks sort of, um, I don't know, nice. Can't think of the word I wanted to use. On that gray. I kind of like that. So, sort of a subdued look. So that's neat. Anyway, all you have to do then is to glue these items together and then stick them on your card. There will be a little piece that sticks out right here. It's just the hinge of the card. There's nothing you can really do about that. Just don't let it bother you because the card has to open somehow. Alright, so now let's just go ahead and glue everything together. And you have a lot of different options for gluing. And I know you probably know that you've got a lot of different options for glue. But when it comes to trying to attach something like this, I usually just default to zip dry because I just really like it. 
um, it can get a little difficult to go around all these little intricate things but I still prefer it. You can use a Xyron which you run through, crank through the machines. Um, I like those but I always end up with a lot of stuff in between, a lot of little adhesive still stuck in between my, my, my intricate areas and I don't like that. So I know you can rub it when you've got the Xyron stuff stuck together you can kind of rub it off but I just don't have very good success with that. So you can also use glue dots. These are the mini glue dots and I think they work pretty well for doing intricate things because they're mini. Uh, obviously glue dots work very well for any kind of glue dotting but um, I say well for this because they're small. So I'll use that for right now and we'll just go over a few of these things. Oh, I held this. I don't think I talked about it. The adhesive spray. Do this um, outside or at least not in an enclosed area. It's nice because you can just spray this glue on the back of your whatever you got. But um, it really is, I don't like to use it inside because it's just not good for that. It really needs to be out. It's flammable. Um, you know, it says the vapor is harmful. I mean, good grief. So it's nice because it covers well. But I usually use that on other kind of home decor projects and not, not usually on paper crafting, but you can. Okay, so I got, I'm just rolling my dots out of the way a little bit where I get them not quite on there. All right, well, you've seen dots. Let's do a zip dry real quick because I want to move on, but I feel like my dotting skills take me a while. Let me squeeze out my glue. So again, while I get my glue to come out, uh, this is the Art Philosophy Cricut cartridge, and it is sold only through close to my heart. Because, see that little thing right there? Yeah. Alright, well, um, you can get it through there. And it's a neat cartridge. I really like it. They also have the new Cricut Artiste cartridge. Wait, that one's not the newest. Art Booking is the newest. I, I love that one. It's really cool. I actually think that Artiste is my favorite. It's super neat and if you will go to my website let's see sorry I'm trying to why am I concentrating so hard at putting glue on I'm trying to squeeze it out while I do this anyway if you go to my website on the right hand side of joyslife.com you'll see a link to Melanie's website go to her if you're looking for somebody who sells close to my heart because she's awesome and she is where I get my close to my heart stuff okay now here we go what was I layering that one on? Oh darn, I didn't stick down the other thing. What were we going to have that one to go on? The one I just stuck on top of the tape gun. Okay. So here we go. Wait, I wasn't going to do that, was I? No, I wasn't. Let's put it on top of a different color. Like that. Holy cow. This day, I had tons of craft fails. Do you ever have those? I swear, I almost didn't make a video because... Everything I tried with cutting these things out, I just I felt like I couldn't get my colors right. And I almost just gave up. And then I thought, no, I kind of like this. It is a pretty fast and fun little project. Once I got the colors down that I wanted to use, I am not, I'm sometimes color challenged. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to glue this one down. And then we're just going to layer it. So all you're doing is cutting out two of these flower things at four inches. Well, everything's at four inches and then a one background to go behind the flowers also at four and then the base and then you just glue them together so simple all right glue 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 all right so there are two flowers and remember they came for let's see i'm going to show you again they came for the decorative layer area and now we're going to stick them on top of i can pick it up good grief everything's falling apart all right move all right on top of the circle right here that we cut at four inches also. Da, da, da. All right, there we go. Look, see, that looks nice. And I'm using a patterned, patterned paper by SEI today. I was trying to find it. We're going to throw it somewhere. Hold on, I'll go get it. Here it is. Okay, because white can be boring just by itself and I didn't feel like embossing today, I'm using the White Elegance Paper Pad by SEI. It's pretty cool. They got foil papers, pearlized papers, and whatever. So you see how they're different uh, textures and things. 
So I really like that. That way you don't have to get out a bunch of embossing folders and emboss if you don't feel like it. And I threw that on the floor. You're still using white without it being just a dull white. Like, okay, I had to lean down onto the floor. I had this white one, um, and it just looks so plain. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but it just had a flat um, look to it. Kind of like, you know, I mean, that looks nice. There's nothing wrong with that at all. But sometimes you just want a little bit of bling without going to any bling trouble. So that's when you use a pattern paper or a foil or something like that. It's pretty cool. All right, let me move all this out of the way. Now there's our base. Again, I'm just using a white paper for this. And did I not, oh, I didn't stick that down very well. You know what, I'll go back and do that one. It's not boring watching me glue. And to do the backing, I'm just gonna use my trusty ATG gun. Love this thing. Okay, I decided I better go in and restick some of this because it fell off. I just didn't get enough glue out the first time. And I should have just done the edges, really, because I'm mean, the outer edge instead of the whole thing. Probably draw it out while it was waiting for me to get done. Okay, so now we'll just stick that back on. There we go. Okay, it's a simple, simple card. Two layers of the flowers, both cut at four inches. Layer those onto one of the backgrounds, cut at four inches, and then this is just a little circle, also cut at four inches. So that's all you need, it's just five pieces, and then just glue them together. Let me show you, okay, that's the finished one, and then of course just stamp your sentiment in there, but you've got a quick card, and this is so helpful if you just need a birthday, a thank you, whatever you might need, perfect. I mean, it's just, it's very appealing to a wide variety of people. Oh, I wanted to use this too. I'm going to stick that on and just use, let me go get a glue dot or something to hold that down. I swear, I looked all over my craft room and couldn't find these. They were right behind me. Okay, I'm going to use the glue dot pop-ups. It's the 3D pop dot. See how fat it is? I love this. I love a fat dot. Okay, so I'm just going to stick it to the back of my thing if I can hold on to it. Plop! And then just plop that down right in the center. Cute! Alright, see? I like that. That is really super cute. And Close to My Heart has a lot of stamps that are perfect for this little card. And so do I at joyslife.com. You can go look at my stamps and see what I've got that might be just right for you in there. So. These things can work well together. All right, let's put this aside. Cute little flower. And here are some other flower ones you can make. Isn't that pretty? You can put one of those cool little buttons, whatever you happen to have on hand, right in the center. And that kind of spices it up a little bit. So makes it a little different. I like that, very cool. All right, you guys, that is it. So use the Art Philosophy cartridge and made this cool card from page 41. I hope you have a great week and come back to see me soon for another episode of 52, or you can also find me on joyslife.com. Bye!